and welcome back. When you think of robots, you might think science fiction, but this is far from fiction. This morning, we're joined by surgeon Dr. Matthew Lopresti to learn more about robotics and how they're making an impact in the medical field. This is so interesting to me. You are using some robotics in your practice. Tell me about it. Right, so our practice specifically is very defined. We do hair surgery, so we do hair transplants, um, hair loss, hair thinning. So the robot itself uh, was first FDA approved being the Artis Robotic System in 2011. So the robot's been around for a few years. So mm -hmm. it's an aid you know, to help assist us for more precision, a little bit faster harvesting. So the patients are not in the surgery room as long as before. And I was gonna say that it's not replacing the surgeons itself. No, it's an aid, you know, so there's transplants themselves where the robot is helping to assist us in respect to harvesting a more precision, more precise location for the hairs themselves so there's less damage. But the robot itself, you know, shouldn't replace the artistic approach that comes from a human hand. Okay. Who are candidates for this? We're seeing some pictures here too as you talk about it. Yeah, so for the FDA approval for the artist robotic system, typically are approved for men as well as dark hair, straight hair, more fine hair. Uh, but there are many different candidates that are available, uh, men and women alike. Uh, so it, there's a fine line between what kind of hair you still have in your head that you need to preserve as well as hair loss where you are now transplanting that hair. Okay, and the procedure, that's the robot right there. Correct. So that's the artist robotic system. So this works through a series of algorithms. So first a tensioner is placed on the human skin and the robot will then locate that grid. And from that grid, it then reads the hair on the inside. Depending on the orientation as well as the density of the hair, the robot itself will then target that hair, core it out, and then we manually extract it one by one. Wow. So it's interesting. Wow, wow, wow. Now, how long does the surgery take and what's the process? So for a start to finish for an FUE procedure being follicular unit extraction, which is what the artist robotic system is doing. So that procedure from start to finish will typically take between six, maybe eight hours. The harvesting with the robot itself between maybe two to three and a half hours. Okay, so this is a process. If you're interested in doing something like this, you know, it's a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. No, so for patients that are interested or have any hair loss concerns in general, uh, our consultations are free. They can find that information on our website at hairdr.com or through 1-800-GET-HAIR. Mm -hmm. And we encourage all patients to come in, see what we can offer, see what patients themselves can be doing, and you know, see if this robot itself or a hair transplant procedure is correct for them. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Absolutely. Thank you for, for sharing this with us. Thank so you. interesting and intriguing. For more information, you can always go to our website, WTNH.com, or you can go to the On Air tab and pull down the Good Morning Connecticut section and get more information.